Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please uh, do so uh, and also become a fan of the page as well. Okay, in today's tutorial we are going to learn about how to delete uh, data from a file. Now, uh, quite a few people uh, 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 a few of my students have asked me to uh, to cover this topic so uh, I guess uh, uh, here it is I think we are ready to to cover it right now um, we have enough knowledge and information from the previous tutorials um, okay so let's get started now in this tutorial we are not going to I don't think we'll get to the point where we'll uh, at least in this video we won't be able to get to the point where we'll be writing the code itself because we are going to look at the concept or the process behind deleting uh, data from a file now <coughs> unfortunately in C there is so suppose this is a file that we have to we, have, we are going to deal with okay uh, the name of the file is abcd.txt and it contains a bunch of names here okay so now notice that there is this name Joe uh, coming up again and again okay and suppose in this file we have to delete we have to delete get rid of this name for whatever reason okay so we are going to delete this we our our goal is to uh, change this file into a file with the same name abc.txt which will contain all these names except joe so there is one occur occurrence here there's another occurrence here there's another occurrence here another occurrence here and then another occurrence of joe here and we want all these to be deleted not to be the part of this file anymore okay that's what our target is so it's a very simple example just to illustrate the process but the process itself is very generic okay think of this as one record okay like uh, information about a student so it could be multiple lines so it could it may not be just one line it could be like three lines or four lines or whatever and then followed by the another record which looks exactly the same and so on but you have some records that you have to delete right and you can identify you can tell you have a way of telling that this record needs to be deleted that's very important in this particular case how do we tell it says Joe if it says Joe we need to delete it okay so, but you have to have some way of, of of knowing that this record needs to be deleted once you know that then you can basically read one record at a time and then you can delete it and this is what the process there are actually different ways of doing it many ways are relatively simpler but they are operating system dependent okay uh, if you write the code which is operating system dependent then you cannot port it what does that mean that means that it will be very specific to either for example Windows or Linux or you know or some other operating system that you are working with okay Mac or whatever because the file system is actually part of the operating system okay so it's very easy to write a code which is very operating system dependent but here we are trying to re, uh, er, come up with an algorithm that will allow you to delete the data from a file and still you will be able to um, to write code which is not operating system specific okay now um, it's uh, and, and also we want to stay very uh, as simple as possible at the same time it, we have to make it you know all the time my goal is always to keep things simple as simple as possible so keeping these constraints in mind let's see how we are going to do so what we are going to do the main idea is that instead of reading one line at a time one simple way would be you know one simple way would be to open a file open this file and then open another file with some other name okay like uh, maybe abc.tmp or something and open this file in the read mode open the other file in the write mode you read this one line and you look at it you say do we have to keep this line if yes then you write it to the other line uh, other file if no then you don't write you skip it you don't write to that other file so you you read Larry yes we want to keep Larry we if we write it to to the uh, other file then Joe we don't want to keep Joe so we don't write to the other file and Frank we want to keep it write to the other file Kelly write to the other file Joe don't write to the other file and so on and then when you are done with all this you have this file ready without this Joe in it anywhere 
okay and then you close both of the files now you have that file ready the problem is that that file name of that file is not the same as this this file so what you have to do is you have to copy that file over to this file and to copy that file over to this file you have to use operating system command to copy it and that's where the problem is okay or or you could basically read from that file and then write on top of this file open this file in w mode and write on top of this file and you close it and you could do it that way also okay another way is to read the whole read one line at a time and put it in the memory and bring the whole thing in the memory first and then write to this file that way you won't even need the other file in the previous example the other file will stay there unless you delete it and again to delete it you will need the operating system call okay so if you really don't want the temporary files to be lying around in your system then this is what you will have to do the idea is to read one line at a time into the memory into a buffer okay if you want to keep that line if you don't want to keep that line you don't put it in that buffer so you read larry you put it in that buffer you read joe you don't put it in the buffer you read frank you put it in the buffer and so on so to demonstrate so let's say there is a buffer now what is a buffer buffer is simply a big long long array of bytes or characters right so it has lots and lots of characters it will be as big as the as you expect the file to be okay so if you expect the file to be very big like uh, you know I don't know like 10 kilobytes then you make it 10 kilobytes if you expect it to be 1 megabytes you make it 1 megabytes now obviously there is a limit files can be very huge files could be in gigabytes also memory usually don't have you don't have that kind of memory usually so in this algorithm there is this is a constraint that you know you can use it only when you know that your file sizes are not going to be too big which usually most of the time that would be the case at least in your you know in your homeworks for example now <clears throat> then what we are going to do is okay we need a temporary variable say line also right we'll call it line it's a string okay it will have some bytes also some characters also to read each line the size of this variable would be uh, as big as you you expect each line to be okay so in this particular example we have very small lines so we are going to keep it like say 21 okay so in this here you know there are more bytes than uh, more boxes here than uh, it's it's shown right here now what we are going to do is we are going to read the first line and store it here obviously let me write it here larry okay and then we will say okay is larry the same as joe because we don't want joe to we don't want to write joe okay but we will write anything which is not joe so if larry is not joe we copy it into buffer here l a r r y now notice as we said before that if we use f get s to read this line it will have backslash n also the new line character also if you did not uh, watch the previous tutorial i would uh, i would recommend that you do so um I will try to put this the link over here on the screen as well if you see the link just click on it so we use F get s to read it and it will put the new line character because there is a new line character at the end of this uh, string here because that's why Joe is on the next line okay so we will put it as is here then next li next line we are going to read it's Joe so is it the same as Joe yes it is the same as Joe so we don't want to write it in this buffer then we are going to write another next line which is Frank and is it the same as Joe no it is not the same as Joe so we are going to write Frank here F R A N K backslash n you know this will be in this file uh, in this variable right here okay I think I'm gonna stop here and I'll continue this in the next video please continue to watch thank you so much bye